بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the King, the Master, the Sustainer, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, and we send peace and blessings upon His beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There's a lot I want to mention. <laughs> and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He makes it easy. But I ask for your undivided attention, please. Please, for your undivided attention. Many of us, we come to the talk, or you come to a Friday khutbah, or you come to a lesson, and there's this sickness where you come to see how will the sheikh or the speaker or the imam, how will he entertain me? Or how will he inform me of something? And therefore you find a lot of times today, people go shopping for speakers that they like. This is very, very dangerous because this will limit your benefit. The reality is whenever a Muslim goes to any gathering, we should sit in that gathering asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open our hearts. And you benefit only according to how much you want. That's why, depending on where you are with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will take something from the message. You know, sometimes you learn something from the speaker that the speaker himself had no intention on teaching you. Sometimes you learn something from a speaker the speaker himself had no intention on teaching you that particular lesson. But that was based on your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That was based on your hunger, your sincerity. So Allah will teach you things. You know, sometimes Allah will teach you from means that you, that you never thought possible. Well, Allah, sometimes Allah will teach you by watching an animal. Sometimes just by watching two animals, Allah might teach you a lesson that you could never find in a book based on what you want. 